All right, let me talk to Otto. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just a messenger. I'll leave the scheme until I was more suited to this. Oh, show. thanks, Otto. Could be Very helpful. Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. All right. Let me see if I can actually travel places now. I still can't. Ah, oh, dang it. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of the with the Fiero. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better, Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. Now the 14 style of storytelling will put off many people, but I love it just because I am familiar with it. Flourish, True. But it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us.
Still can't leave. Ah. I just want to go do the S rank. Hippocrates. Yes, there is. Yes, there will be. Let me guess. Someone so early pulled the Atari skies. dead. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. Alright, I know I'm pausing, but can we just can we just take a moment to finally, even though it's probably not gonna be long lived, to thank Xfinity for not dropping bitrate until the very end of the like of until we were done with the Bahamut fight, bro? So that everyone could also enjoy it in his glory. Oh my gosh. I saw the bitrate drop a little bit just like during the cutscene after the fight. I'm so happy that nothing happened during that. I would have been so disappointed. And on the sixth day, did the gods... <laughs> Can we thank Xfinity for the doing the bare minimum? ...visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters. But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others have to say. Perhaps so you could let me go. Ah! Just let me leave! Let me leave! I can't take it anymore. Just let me leave. Just let me leave. I can't even teleport, so I gotta walk all the way fucking down. <laughs> I went the wrong, I went, sorry. I'm multitasking with two hands or one hand. It's not working out. Eh. Eh. Jill. Clive, we have a problem. I haven't been doing all Only of them, one. so I know. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallimhill. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means, there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Alright. Yes! So there's like three areas that we can go here. I believe, is is this the section? Because people were telling me there's a section where you actually kind of want to pay attention to all the side quests. Like, there's a lot of good side quests and stuff that's going to pop up. I, I know I got to finish all these side quests that I have right now, but, you know. Alright, okay. I'm probably going to do a bunch of them off stream. I don't know. Or, or should, I, should I do the side quests on stream? I don't know. Okay, I want to go to Care... Okay, it's here. Okay, so you said, uh, where, where was it? 
just run south and you'll find it. Glory, glory's gate. Oh, down here. Uh oh. Dang, bro. This shit looks like I don't even know. It's the final base, bro. Cyclists get very good. That is what I've heard. Is everyone told me to like after a certain point, uh, like after you do like the the stuff in the Empire to go do side quests, or, or to actually start paying attention to side quests. All right. Thanks, go. Where they want me to go? Music stopped. It's usually not a good sign. Um, you know what? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you. You're you're good. Don't worry. You're good, girl. Just you you stay right there. We got this. Uh, that's a way bigger field than the last uh, S rank I had to fight. Um. Uh, keep in mind, this one I have never, I have not spoiled myself on, so I'm kind of worried. Uh... Oh, wait. Why the fuck? Svarog? I already fought you in Honkai! Level 50? Okay, okay. What's the worst I can have? Oh. Oh my god! Yeah, I can breathe fire too. Come here. I said, get the fuck down!
barely fucking taking any damage. Oh no. Yeah, the, I was just like, I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> the, the hitbox is too close. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. I see you. All right, so ready, go. We're back. Fly, Ambrosia. Um, I did the I did the S rank dragon off stream, but I did record it. And I think I'm gonna put all the S rank kills I do on a, in a in a video all by itself. And uh, put that together on you on YouTube whenever. But uh, I did that. Now off stream, my friend told me about um, tr the trials that apparently unlock after you defeat Bahamut. And one of them, which I'm right in front of you, it, the trials are like the obelisks that we could find in the wild, but we couldn't operate. Like we couldn't do anything with that before. So I'm at one of them right now. Uh, the one they told me to go to, which is the Hand of Hyperion, or the Trial of Hyperion. Yeah, it's trial time. We're doing trials. Also, audio should be good. I hope it's good because guess what? I spent like 10 minutes. Before stream. Ten minutes before stream. <laughs> Fixing the audio. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do with this thing anymore, man. I don't know how to like make it so it stops doing the bug. Oh, it stops doing the stupid audio bug, the delay and all that. It's very annoying. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna do this. A hand of Hyperion. These weren't active this before. Awake. Yeah. These weren't active before, but they're active now. Chronolists are similar to uh, Aerith stones in that within them is a hidden virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clive alone. Each chronolith presents Clive with a time trial in which he must combat continuous waves of deadly enemies equipped with only the feet and abilities of a single icon. Okay. Let's see what's inside. All right, all right, all right. Trial by fire. All right, the Phoenix. All right, it yeah, seems good. Let's go. 
Let's go. Oh, this place looks crazy. This looks like a Kingdom Hearts arena. Okay, so I have trial by elements. To complete the trial, Clive must defeat all enemies before the time runs out, only using the predetermined feat and abilities of a single icon. Time can be extended by performing certain battle techniques uh, specified before the start of each trial. All right. Rising finish. Okay. Collateral cyclone. And then all bonuses. Okay, so I only have cyclone and rising. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Stage one complete. We did it. All right, so one minute remaining. So there's more stages. Is it three stages? I guess. All right, let's continue then. This arena is so cool. All right, what do I got now? I have Heat Wave and Scarlet Cyclone again. All right, this this is free. Ah! 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 Ah!
Holy crap, we gotta get way too freaking close. Probably one of, of course that's one of the enemies I hated fighting the most. Jeez. I don't get health back, do I? Like, I'm one hit, I'm pretty sure. Like, the whole time, I'm guessing. Looks like it. Oh, this is gonna suck. What's up, Silently? How you doing? I'm one hit, aren't I? Ooh, I have... I should have Flames of Rebirth now, right? Okay, I have Flames of Rebirth, though, and I have Heat Wave. Alright, this should be... Not be as bad. Alright, we'll start off with doing this. Suck as well.
What am I doing? Dang it. Got this, just gotta focus. I need to just take care of this guy first. There we go. Now you. Come here. Easy. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. I wasn't even worried. I knew as soon as I saw the Akashic guy with the cannon, I'm like, oh, this is gonna, this is not gonna go well, is it? There's more? Oh, of course it isn't over. Oh, of course it isn't over. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We, we win these, we win these, we win these. We win these. What could it possibly be? Uh, we win these. Okay, it's over for you, bro. We win these. Holy shit, that actually hit me. Damn, really? <sighs> Fuck. I mean, it's the final stage, too. Was I just not doing it? Okay, well, shit. We go again. <sighs> let's see, let's see what I could do better here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this one. <laughs> Yeah. 
try. Too slow. There we go. I think that might be better. What's up, Snake? How you doing? Change accessories before before each stage? Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me that, actually. I had no idea about that. That is a big tip. That is a very... That's not a pro tip. That's an expert tip. Thank you for that. I didn't even know you could change accessories in here. Hold up. If that's the case, next round's gonna be Heat Wave and... It's gonna be heat wave and cy cyclone, isn't it? It's heat wave and cyclone. So if that's the case, do I have anything for you wave? I'm pretty sure I have you wave. Yeah, I do. How goes the gaming? We just started. Hasn't been too long. Uh, we're doing a trial. We haven't done any story stuff yet. After we do this trial, we'll go back into story stuff. Uh, you had me at Basario silently. I hate that monster. You know, just trying to uh, stop thinking about the whole freaking... I need you to do the attack. There we go. I kind of don't agree with that, but whatever, I guess.
Holy shot. I thought he got me there, but that's... That was terrible, dude. I don't like that enemy so much. Uh. I don't think I'm gonna get it this time either. It's gonna be... I think I'm not gonna have enough time. I gotta go crazy with this one here. Oh, I... Dang it. I forgot to switch fucking things. Oh, I can. I can. I can. Uh, hold up. Okay, so I have... What do I have? I have, uh... Heat Wave and Flames Rebirth. Okay, if that's the case... Do I have something that increases the flames rebirth damage? No? Okay, I don't. Okay, I want to try to see how this goes. No, I don't have enough time. That's just not enough time. There's no way. Ugh.
just do not have enough time. I think the next stage is rising. And uh, flames of rebirth. Started with even less time than less time but before. It's that fucking other stage, man. All right, well, let me stop this recording. Jeez. All right, starting the recording again. Just finished the Hand of Hyperion trial, and now we're actually gonna go back to the story now. So. So, from what it seems like, from what I can remember, because I had been doing, like, side quests, like, the unimportant side quests, off, uh, off stream, and I obviously had to go places, so it looks like this is sort of, kind of primo, uh, primo genesis is kind of, sort of like, uh, the final days, sort of, of this game, essentially, and everything's in ruin, if I remember correctly, some thieves just kind of ran through this place, like, this place is kind of messed up. Like, my shop. if you go everywhere, like, there's just people kind of, like, consoling others or trying to if repair stuff. Pickaxe, like, what is it? The, like, all this stuff is just kind of, like, what all over the do? place. People are beat up. Things are broken. Stuff like that. Uh, people are essentially taking advantage of all the chaos to, uh, do, uh, do, uh, be evildoers and no-gooders and, you know, that stuff. But anyways, let's, 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 uh, let's get started here. Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. 
And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. Okay, follow the shouting. What's going on in here? You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. <laughs> and what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. What's he doing here? Hey, what's he doing here? Sid and Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos, and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briars kiss here in Dalamil. ...is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that... ...when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here... ...I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costness. These are cursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Well, things seem to have gone so. Sh Why don't we just go after the bandits? Also, we have uh, one of the important quests here, so I'm just gonna grab that real quick. This place was locked until I continued the story. Take of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down. Yeah, I could not My progress this. Will oh. be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! You serious? Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I already like this guy. Not really. Oh, Keeper, thank you for the follow. I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, 
You know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to craft. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some indiscreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamon is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. Dude, all this freaking... Oh, man. Bless up Final Fantasy 16 for existing. Uh, all this freaking Twitter is dying. Doom posting every two months is so... Honestly, it's kind of it's kind of just numb to me now. I just what is it? Here's what will happen for me. I have yet to make like a post where like, oh man, I'm over here, blah blah blah, it's all that stuff, right? I'll do that once I literally now. see a post that says Twitter is now shutting down, or at least something happens to where it's just like I can literally not use the site anymore. Yeah. I haven't I haven't exceeded the rate limit thing because uh, I just haven't really been on twitter that much today um but uh either it's gonna get fixed like usually what happens when a terrible mistake is added at least a terrible mistake that yes. makes no sense is added uh i.e this or you know it's just not and people are gonna do the whole thing over and over again i'm just i i get why people are talking about it yeah, I'm using TweetDeck. Apparently, it doesn't bypass it if you've already passed the limit for the day. But also, people are saying, like, the rate limit thing sh is fine now. But also, I'm just tired of the whole, like, oh, man, something's going on. Twitter is dead. Uh, post other socials again. Like, I get it. I'm just kind of like, it's the same thing with the news, man. You see so, you see so much of one thing every single time, you kind of just become numb to it. And I'm just numb to it now. If, like, Twitter is, if I see something that's, like, Twitter is actually, like, it's getting out of the point where it's actually shutting down, then, uh, I'll make a post of my other socials. But, like, I, like, right now, it's so hard for me to care. Oh, too early. Gotcha. Oh, once I found out you could do that, like, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Ready, go. Fly, Empress. I like how that one, you don't have to charge a certain moment in air, too. It's just, like, how high in the air you are. I think that's so cool. Alright, so, I think it's here. This is, yep, alright. We gotta go get this guy's luggage. 
And I think this is supposed to give us a new weapon. I think. I don't know. It unlocks something. Hey guys. How you doing? Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. Every time. Gotcha. And for the finisher, Actually, let me delete. Didn't I schedule a tweet? Hold on, let me delete that fucking tweet. This no, I'm really here. I just luggage. don't care. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamel. How do I check my scheduled tweets again? I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond the Twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Wyvern, it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself. And a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I could make Pardon a blade out of this, though. Intrusion, my lordship. However, I want a cool looking blade. It is blade. long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. 
Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis, Lord Byron Rosfield, and is a perennial thorn in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, well. <laughs> I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks for the stone. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Uh, okay. I kind of want to finish this, so I'm gonna go finish this real quick, and then we'll we'll, we'll go back to story. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I want to do the story too. Zantitsuken, <sighs> dude. If only. Wait, is the stream the stream isn't delayed, is it? Never going back to the story. Okay, it's not. Sorry, I thought it was delayed. All right, we're good. Sorry for the wait. But hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword then. I did better than that. I... The whetstone. Yes. Why are you saying ain't no way? What did I do? But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. I'm not in side quest hell. Why do you think I do them all off stream? I mean, apparently it's about to get into side quest hell. But I did a bunch of them off stream. Same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <laughs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter? Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. Right. I will. All right, Excalibur. Okay, well, obviously, I'm probably not going to be able to unlock that right now, right? What do I owe the honor? So, will it be? I can. It's less. But it's only two damage less, and it might, it's, I mean, it's Excalibur, dude, come on. Not bad, if I do say so myself. 
It's Excalibur. Like, how how would I not? Why would I not buy Excalibur? Anything else? Oh, that looks so cool. That's such a nice blade. It's only okay. It's only two damage less. It's only two damage less, and it looks cooler. It's only two damage less than Brightburn, and it looks cooler. All right, which one are we doing? I think I think I think we know the answer here. It's two damage less. I don't think two damage is gonna be the outlier. Did you see them? All right. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're not doing that yet. Also, OMG, grow up. All right, sorry. I was doing something. Did you see that? How may I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts. Yes. <gasps> Ability points. Let's go. Fifteen hundred smackaroos. All right. Talisman of priming. The heck is this? Come again. I may have more for ya. What does that do? There's nothing new on the hump board, right? Nope. Oh. Alright, we're good. Oh, for people who just got here, I did do I did do Svarog off uh I did far I, I, I did Svarog off stream. Uh I recorded it, but I wanted to do it off stream. Uh he was it was it was alright. I think I think the the world breaker was a lot more fun. Uh, I think the the first S rank we did was a lot more fun. The camera for a lot of the dragon fights in this game I'm noticing is not really, it's not really not really great. So it's just like, okay, I guess. I need to buy more potions. Oh, and also, I did a quest, I think I did a side quest off stream that increased my pouch size for potions. So now I can hold, was it, four high potions, Five. I can hold Point four high potions, six, or was it six uh, normal potions, and then three tonics, I think it was, yeah. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Last elixir. 20k! Upon KO, automatically restores all HP and fills limit gauge. And increases attack power by 10% and defense by 30% for 60 seconds! I'm never gonna have to use this, though. I haven't died yet. I think okay I haven't died yet outside of the no I don't think I've died Finished yet in this game yet. Yet. have I died yet no I died to Atlas I died to Atlas and Swarog okay I died to S rings I haven't died to any like story thing I'm pretty sure yet so I guess I have that now in, in case I want to use it all right we're going back to 
Was it Dalmechia we were in? It was in Dalmechia. Alright. We gotta go take care of the bandits. Well, that's definitely a way to flashbang my Twitter feed, Cass. Thanks for that. It wasn't even just my Twitter feed. It was just, like, a notification so, full right there my predicament? on my phone. What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake, He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own before presenting them with a third option. And that would be to pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. On the plus side to Your everything, I do finally have a reason to make a tumbler, I guess. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor. Like, I'm just using this time as an talking. excuse to make one. You so. need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. Haha, <laughs> cast Lamal. Let's not talk about the whole Twitter situation too much. I said my words on it, and I just... I don't have the energy to care anymore. Actually. Oh, we're going to more than one place here. Um... I just don't have the energy Victory, to care Conrad. until they make a... Your own city guard. Are you as captain? Until they, uh... Until they make... Until there's a post that's like, yeah, the, the, the site is going down. Uh then I just, I cannot be asked. Because it's literally this, it's been the same cycle every other month, and I just cannot, like, I'm not wasting energy on it anymore. But I will make other places, and when that time comes, I'll just, I'll make a tweet. I'm just not going to make a tweet about it every other month. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, no, I have been wanting to make a Tumblr for the longest time, but I never really had a reason, so I guess I'll just use this time the six millionth time the, that something's going on with the site as a reason to do it. What am I, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about the game. Uh, I, I don't remember. Um, hmm. I don't remember. We're just going to get to the story. Ah, here she is. Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. Wait, what? As I told you, I summoned the commander <laughs> here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. 
Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. This will be part of the plot? I, would... I don't know. That's a great question, I mean, honestly. I haven't played many Final Fantasies. So. And we may... Ah, here he is now. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. So we're just lying. Uh, That's... Lord Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord. And how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners could afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud... Why was Jill way better at acting than... <laughs> our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance... I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good, merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. Gosh, man. That was so stupid. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. Me either. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mummy. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. 
It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. Oh, time to go intercept. Of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. Let's go beat them up then. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. The stakes I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean <sighs> us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. No use calling Ambrosia now. Let's get to work then. Ready, go. Okay, well, I guess we're not allowed to. Alright, well, never mind. Oh, I didn't know they were this close. The women folk have come to fuck us. The women folk? Yeah, get, get his ass. Nice try. Actually, I lied. I'll take all of them. Touch my touch pad there. Boom. Boom. Nice one. You did it. Ow! Can you stop doing that, please? Come on, come on. Wasn't back up. Okay. Come on. Boom. Oh, I forgot I have skill points to spend. <laughs> well, I don't really know what to spend them on, anyways. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry.
Uh oh. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Come now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. Hey, you're the one who forced me to act, bro. What do you mean? Alright. Well, that's done. So on to the next one. Uh, also... I want to see here if maybe I could upgrade my limit break, but also I want to try this out. I don't think that's worth it, honestly. Wind up does more damage. Oh no, I'm conflicted. Could also, if I want to, upgrade... Oh wait, no, I couldn't, because I degraded one of these. Hmm. I think for now, I'm just gonna keep up evil. Good if I want to do that. really the same mm, yeah I think I'll just keep ignition honestly do ignition and finally get my limit break all the way up there all right anything else that I want 
I'll hold up the limit break fully. So I guess, I guess now I can just... Honestly, just do this fully. And then we'll just upgrade that when we get the chance. Alright, I think that's good. I think we're good. I think we're good here. And next time I guess we could work to fully mastering Flames of Rebirth. That should be good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. All right. Next place we need to go to. We shall go to Martha's Rest. Jeez. Okay, what happened here? I actually forgot. Wasn't it like the essentially the same thing? What's up, Martha? Martha? It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. They were too fast. Wait, the mark's still here? Why is this here? It's not here. Alright. Or maybe I was too slow. I didn't know it just stays there forever. Until I until I deleted it. I thought after like you walk over it, then it's gone. I think they've abandoned us, do you? I mean, possibly it might be because uh, my mother decided to be uh, an idiot and slit her throat with a knife the other day when we were fight after we fought Bahamut, but that could be the reason why there haven't been reinforcements. Well, maybe, possibly, who knows. We deal with the Akashic first. Oh, that's a lot. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, I missed this move. I love this game. I love this game so much. The 
These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wade's men? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Jeez. Mother, trouble! It really is the, the end of times. The party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels, and they got wounded with them. They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Don't worry, we got this. Cause now I I'm King Arthur. I have the sword of ex I have the I have the sword Excalibur on my side. Excalibur's been in Final Fantasy before, I'm pretty sure, right? Like this isn't new. Like, it's, it's been in a Final Fantasy game before. OMG, if anyone would know that, you would. Ambrosia I'm pretty sure Excalibur has been in Final Fantasy before. Moy. It's Saturday right now. Okay, so I need to... Today, or tomorrow, and... The day after, I need to do a bunch of roulettes and stuff. Been in multiple, I'm pretty sure. All right, that's, that's good enough. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's even in 14, and I'm pretty sure I've seen it in like 15. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I've gotten it in 15 too. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about? I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. So wait. Is it a relic? Oh yeah, it is. It's a uh, it's a paladin relic. If you are Sorry. to sight for sore eyes. Oh, something in 14. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it, we thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Oh, we've got a cache of turtles now. Well, that's great. We need to get the injured to safety. Go. We can hold them We got this. We can certainly try. You think? Oh my god. She she still doesn't know I'm him. You with us, so wait. Always. Then let's do our duty. Whoa, what the f Oh, he shot me. I was like, what was that? Oh, I forget why I hate fighting this freaking turtle.
me new enemies. I haven't even finished with this guy yet. What do you mean that was on his head? Gosh, those guys are so annoying. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. So back to back to Oh, here now. Jeez. There's a lot more we gotta deal with. It just doesn't stop. Can't believe I spent like 40 minutes doing the trial. I didn't know it would take 40 minutes. Maybe I'm not him. Maybe I just thought I was. Oh, that's a lot more. Unfortunately, you know what you did? You lined yourself up. So. <laughs> Strike. <laughs> Music to my ears. Not the chocobos. Not the chocobos. Why did it dart? Dude! Why did it, do Why did it do that? It just made it look like I just freaking beat the, the chocobos head off. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Why would it cut like that? That's such bad timing. Oh my gosh, you think you're him, bro, you're not. Ooh, 
from the top rope. Come here. You know, Carl, just me being him and stuff, you know, me being that guy and all nothing to nothing, nothing new. Uh, we're just, we're just, uh, I did a trial. Essentially. I did a trial that you can just go back into the VOD and look at, and we're actually doing story stuff now. Uh, I've essentially just been going around. There's three places we need to go to and help out people. Essentially anymore? like, essentially with like the end of the world happening, pre uh, primo Genesis, which is essentially like, uh, sort of like. A bunch of chaos um we went to dalmechia in the desert to help out with some bandits because the town was getting ravaged and we're now here in rosaria dealing with some some monsters who have gone out of control and then i think i don't know where the third place we need to go is but we need to go somewhere else after this and help out there no so. i think that was the last of them but it won't be long before the next lot arrive then we make for martha as well we can What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. Very right, nice. That seems to be our job done here. And now we gotta go to one more place and help out. Don't know where that is, but we gotta go. The Guardian's Scarf. Oh, it's a split. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's from Wade. Nice. Did we get something else My for the, the other quest? There's someone I'd like you to meet. Okay. Oscar, over here. Who's this guy? It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Thank you for the three bits. Oscar uh, House Murdoch. A code of fluff? Murdoch. I appreciate it. I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. Thank you for the 85 bits of code of flow. I appreciate you, the bits. My Lord Marquis. Thank you. Might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I'm a shield no longer. 
Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N n not that so Wade and the other guardians are... I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. <laughs> there is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. <sighs> oh, man. Alright. Oh, looks like we get a squire now, I guess. Now, onwards to the next location, which is over here in Sambrick. Oh yeah, I should stop the recording. Stop the recording.